We really want to make sure that we have a focus on using existing evidence that we've already generated through the research we do to make sure it does have an impact. How do people use our research? What different ways do we need to use to make sure that different types of stakeholders and communities can access and make use of that information? So we're going to focus on that. We're really going to have a look at inequalities and make sure we really are addressing the 20% most socioeconomically deprived populations, but also people who live in areas that really do sort of struggle either to access research, be part of research projects in order for us to gain the evidence. So that might be coastal communities, it could be Gypsy Roma traveller communities, it could be neurodiverse populations. So we're going to make sure that all of our research we undertake during this funded extension period goes through a process of formally addressing and telling us what are you going to do to address inequalities because that's what we're here for really. We want to make sure that as many people as possible know about our ARC themes. We're changing some of the themes slightly so that the language is more accessible and people know what our themes are all about. We get out and about as much as possible to talk to networks and groups and communities so that they know how to access the meetings that, and events that our themes organise. We're encouraging our themes to make sure they do invite widely. I want as many people as possible to know what we do and to benefit from what we're undertaking. So many people get involved in the ARC. Over the last sort of 12 months or so, we consulted specifically with over 450 people to really hear what are we doing well, what could we do better, and what do they want to see more of. So I'd really like to thank those people because they really did get in touch, tell us at meetings, fill in our online forms so that we could digest everything people said. Nothing was wasted. We're taking account of everything. So I'd like to thank those people and the brilliant team that I work with right across the region because without them, we are nothing. We are a collaboration. And our partner organisations, again, have gone from strength to strength. Now they understand more how we benefit from them and they benefit from us. So I'd really like to thank them and I really hope that we're doing them justice to what they want to see done across the east of England. And they'll work with us beyond this extended period, really.